Oh, that's a big clump of dirt. Oh. Now we're not going to play with the rake. That's, where's your little shovel? Your little one? It's over here. It's all the way over there. Yep, all the way over there. Keep going. Okay. You're welcome. You can dig in this bed. And in this one. I'm gonna keep it in the bed. <laughs> you wanna take the dirt out? You can dig. How do you want to dig? Okay, you can go to a different bed. Show me what you want to do. Okay, grab your shovel. Where are we going? Show me. Can you hear the sirens? You can go over there. Okay, we can be there. That one's a little tough. This is easier over here. Look. This stuff. This stuff is easier. Yeah, right there. Good job, keep it in the bed. Good job. Look, this stuff right here. There you go. That's nice and easy. That's not been rained on. Good job. That's a big clump of dirt. Right there, you can go right there. Well, you know, not on the rocks, put it back in the bed. There you go. It's important to teach young children to work in the garden early. I do that by giving them their own tools. He knows that's his little shovel. 
pretty much letting him play and do whatever he wants now he's over in the rocks but giving a couple basic rules the dirt stays in the bed you don't walk in the bed that kind of thing um, but making it fun so that they're used to working in the garden from an early age <clears throat> Yep. You all done? Let's put the, I'm going to put the shovel back. I'm going to put the shovel back. I don't lose it. I have it working in the blackberries. So that row is done, this half of the row is done, and that's where I stopped. I started with the big bear. You can see all those elderberries growing in the, in the blackberries all need to be pulled out. And this raspberry jungle is being tackled soon. What did you do? Work hard, get dirty, use good soap. Go, Go milk stuff. <laughs>